New QB1 Jordan Love throwing for 245 yards and three touchdowns. Well, meanwhile, I figured I better go ahead and get ready. So I got the glasses on, getting ready for the champagne showers in the clubhouse tonight. I've been a part of a couple of these celebrations. Yeah. Yeah. Does it ever get old? No, it doesn't get old. It's, uh, you know, this is what we play for. Even with five straight appearances in the Fargo National Finals, Hawken is ready to take a shot at something much bigger. While the Generals may be bringing a small ball approach to the big stage, they hope their World Series appearance is nothing short of a home run. Well, you can see Decker's name right here, Ball's name right here. He walked up to this plaque about a half hour ago and he touched it and he told his family that's on there forever. Yeah, it was about as close as anyone has gotten to a perfect round here at Century World. Texas State was asked, does it make it more special that it's Friday night and the conference opener? And he spurred and said, of course, Friday night lights the best. Reporting live with the Purdue Band yes. from Raw State Stadium, I'm Luke Dam. This year, hey. there's a different energy at Madison East football Yikes. practice. The absence of a longtime coach. A savant. Mentor. Being a coach was a part of his identity. And friend. And that's just who Chris Lins was. Still looming over the program. One, two, three, four, five. I know what Chris would want, and that's just to keep playing and play as hard as we can, coach these boys up, and, you know, try to win for the East Side. At 36, Chris Lins died this summer from sudden cardiac arrest. The Pergolder offensive coordinator leaving a legacy that lives on. We continue to talk about the things that he's done to improve our, our community um, and our football program and uh, just make sure we never forget. Lynn's fingerprints left all over the program. He would be eating dinner with me and be writing down plays on a piece of a napkin or a piece of paper or something. So I'm still finding like even all over our house, little pieces of paper with football plays on it. The new offense he forged being run by the team in his memory, honoring him every time they take the field. It's special, right? Because you get someone who builds something that's unique to, uh, you know, the brand of football in your conference and you want to continue to uplift that. So that, that's our goal is just to take what he has given us and perfect it and keep, keep it moving forward. Lindsay side pride following him as far as it possibly could. A lot of, of his friends even moved out of the area and he was like, I'll never do that. I'm gonna, like, I will live and die here and he did. Still, his motivation is about more than X's and O's. He always was like, yeah, do I wanna win more games? Do I want us to, you know, be championship, go to state, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, but like, that's not what is as important to me. What's important is, I'm here for these young men and I'm helping them to achieve their greatest potential. Lynn's achieving more than he realized. A memory left at Madison East that's unforgettable. Go, 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 go.